Hey scholars, here we go again. Hope you've been having some good days and mm -hmm. keeping safe and happy. So today we're going to be looking at analogies, analogies prep, a brainstorm of analogies. Let's see, do you know what an analogy is? Let's hear if our student knows. What is an analogy? An analogy is a comp is a comparison between one thing and another, usually for explanation or clarification. Okay, awesome. So let's see if we can just think of one right now or just to bring up an example right now. Let's see if we can think about one that can help us. So the first one I want to share with you is guide is to direct as reduce is to so we see it's showing a comparison between one thing and another guide is to direct as reduce is to a decrease b maintain c increase d preserve which of those would you choose the answer is a Guide is to direct as reduce is to option A, which is decrease. Why do we say that? Guide and direct are synonyms and reduce and decrease are synonyms. The answer would not be choice B, which is maintain or choice D, which is preserve because neither means the same as reduce. Choice C is incorrect because increase is the opposite of reduce. So are you getting the gist of what these analogies are for or are about? We're going to be looking at a few right now. Okay, we have two sections. Section one has eight items. Section two also has eight items. So let's just go through them, take in a deep breath, breathe in. And then just let it out. Okay, just relax. We're in this together. I'm not going to abandon you. I'm not going to jump ship. We're in this together. I'm going to be right with you through these two sections. Okay, trust me. Tell me you do. Yeah, I believe you do. Because I'm going to keep my word. I'm not going to leave you all alone. Okay, so the first one is. Cup is to coffee. As bowl is to dish, soup, spoon, food. So you're going to look at the association. It's a comparison. So you're going to look at what they're talking about. What are they talking about? Cup is to coffee. That is telling me that the cup holds coffee. So I'm going to say to myself, so what does a bowl hold? I see one student here jumping out of his clothes to give me the answer. Okay, go ahead. Tell me what that is, what the answer is. What do you think the best response is? I think the best response is B. And what is B? B for soup. Okay, so cup is to coffee as bowl is to B soup. High five. Awesome. So coffee goes into a cup and soup goes into a bowl, right? Choices A and C, they are incorrect because they are other utensils. The answer is not choice D, which is food, because the word food is much too general. Getting the gist of it now? Okay. So we can move on to number two. Yard is to inch as quart is to A, gallon, B, ounce, C, milk, D, liquid. Yard is to inch as quart is to, let's see if we can identify the relationship. A yard is a measure, but it's a larger measure than an inch. So a yard is much larger than an inch. So then we're saying a quart now, now will be larger than the choice we need to make. So what would be the answer? It would be B, ounce. Okay, that's awesome. Let's see. So a yard is a larger measure than an inch. 
A yard contains 36 inches. A quart is a larger measure than an ounce. A quart contains 32 ounces. Okay, so that's why we would choose B, which is the ounce. Now let us look why we would not choose the other responses. Gallon, which is choice A, is incorrect. That can throw you off because it is a larger than a quart. Choice is C, which will be milk, and D, which is liquid, are incorrect because they are not units of measurement. Okay, are we getting this? Yep, I think we are. Number three, window is to pane as book is to, window is to pane as book is to, is to pay. Oh, awesome. So window is to pane as book is to page. So page is item D. Option D is page. Now let's break this apart. A window is made up of panes. And the book is made up of pages. It would not be choice A because a novel is a type of book. Got it? Okay. Okay. So can we go on now? Are you with me? I hope you're all with me because I'm still here with you. Okay. Marathon is to race. Item four as hibernation is to... Marathon is to race as hibernation is to? Is D, sleep. Okay. Marathon is to race as hibernation is to sleep. Now let's see. A marathon is a long race and a hibernation is a lengthy period of sleep. So that's why we would choose sleep, right? So a marathon is a long race. Hibernation is a long period of sleep. The answer would not be A or B, that is, it wouldn't be winter or bear, because even though a bear and winter are related to hibernation, neither completes the analogy. Choice C, which would be dream, is incorrect because sleep and dream are not synonymous. Item five. Item five, we're getting there, we're getting there, and you guys are doing so well. Odometer is to mileage as compass is to direction. Ah, direction, or direction, however you say it, right? And let's break this apart. So your answer there will be option D. An odometer is an instrument used to measure mileage. A compass is an instrument used to measure direction. So choices A, B, and C are incorrect because none is an instrument. Okay? None there is an instrument. All right. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Item six. Item I'm just giving you some time to have a good look at what's before us. You look through that one and see if you can find the best response to that one. Let me know. Reptile is to lizard as flower is to... Let's break that apart. Reptile is to lizard as flower is to... Daisy seed. Oh, it's daisy. So a lizard is a type of a reptile. And a daisy is a type of flower. See that? A lizard is a type of a reptile. And a daisy is a type of flower. Seven. Optimist is to cheerful as pessimist is to... Optimist is to cheerful as pessimist is to... That is A, which is gloomy. So an optimist is a person whose outlook on life is very cheerful. A pessimist is a person whose outlook is very gloomy. So the answer is not choice B because a pessimist does not have to be mean. Please note, a pessimist does not have to be mean, right? So our 
correct response there or the most appropriate response would be A, optimist is to cheerful as pessimist is to gloomy. Let's see. Section one, number eight. Section one, number eight. Play is to actor as concert is to... Just remember, an actor performs in a play, so who performs at a concert? A musician. Yeah. Oh, very good. A musician would be, uh, would be uh, uh, performing at a concert. So that would be eight, option B. Awesome. So let's just stretch our arms way up, way up, way up. Stretch, 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 okay? We're getting ready for section two. Section two is right here. Section two is right here. Elated is to despondent as enlightened is to? Be ignorant. Okay, so elated is to despondent as enlightened is to ignorant. So elated is the opposite of despondent. Enlightened is the opposite of ignorant. So we're just looking at uh, opposites right here. Okay. Awesome. Now take a second and read that next one. Let's go. Do some reading. Careful is to cautious as boastful is to. Careful is to cautious as boastful is to. I'm going to give you a head start. Careful and cautious are synonyms. That is, they mean the same thing. So now you have to find a word that means the same as boastful. And what would that word be? It would be A, arrogant. Okay. So careful is to cautious. Those are synonyms. And boastful, the synonym of boastful is arrogant. I think you guys are really getting the gist of this. Section 2 number three section two number three section two number three have you read it pride is the lion as shawl is a two d fish awesome a group of lions is called a pride and a group of fish swim in a shoal see we can just make the associations. As we make the associations, it makes it easier for us to choose the best response. Okay? Got it? I hope you're still with me. I hope you haven't fallen asleep. I hope you have not fallen asleep. You can't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Or is to rowboat as a Foot is to is to see skateboard. Huh, I wonder how you came up with that one. Here's what's happening. An oar puts a rowboat into motion. A foot puts a skateboard into motion. Ha! Huh, see that? The answer is not choice A, which would be running. It would seem it could be choice A. It is not because running is not an object that is put into motion by a foot. Sneaker, which is choice B, is incorrect because it is something worn on a foot. Jump, jumping, choice D, is not the, one of the better ones because although you do not need feet to jump, jumping is not an object that is, foot, that is put into motion by me, or although you do need feet to jump, right? Jumping is not an object that is put into motion by means of a foot. We are getting there. We are getting there. Section two, number five. You guys deserve a medal. You're sticking with it. Guide is to direct as reduce is to. Guide is to direct as reduce is to. A, decrease. Decrease. Guide and decrease are synonyms. And reduce and decrease are synonyms. So that's just making this an, 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 an easy spot, right? Those are synonyms, okay? So section two, number six. Section two, number six. Go ahead and start reading. Exercise is to gym as eating is to... 
Option D. What does option D say? It says preserve. Oh, no. sorry, wrong one. It's actually restaurant. Okay, awesome. You see, that's just showing you that some of you guys are maybe just losing, you know, losing it with me, you know, tracking with me, right? But see, we can get back on track. Exercise is to gym as eating is to restaurant. How did we choose that? A gym is a place where people exercise and a restaurant is a place where people eat. Wow. Right? So a gym is a place where people exercise and a restaurant is a place where people eat. Okay? We are almost at the end. Number seven, artist is to painting as senator is to artist is to painting as senator is to be law Woohoo! so an artist makes paintings and a senator makes laws okay we're on the last one pig is to pork as dare is to be venison oh pig is to pork as dare is to venison so the pig's meat is called pork and the dare's meat is called venison Guess what we got to the end? I'm so proud of all our scholars today. We got to the end and you guys did so well. Okay, so that's it for uh, for synonyms, right? Remember, not synonyms, I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at that. I need to go to bed. So we're looking at analogies. An analogy is a comparison between one thing and another, usually, usually for explanation or clarification. So toodles, guys. All the best to you. If it's daytime, well, enjoy the rest of your day. If it's nighttime, sweet dreams. And as usual, keep safe, stay blessed, keep loving yourself, keep loving others, be good, be kind to yourself. God bless you till we meet again. Bye-bye. And thank you so much for being such amazing scholars.